up, everybody. <clears throat> uh, coming to you on the road today. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, happy Sunday. Let's talk culture. Plenty to talk about this week. There's no way I was going to miss this week, bro. No way. So uh, I had to hop in here. Get shit rocking. What up, bro? Yo, what's up, Brody? What's up with you, man? Hey, man. Hey, I should, I should be asking you that. Oh, yeah, I'm chilling, man. Just on the road right now. I feel like Cameron, you know, or we're amazed with Cameron and them be doing the on the road shit. Heck, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, my, no way. my boy, that Teddy Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, got you know, the you, know. Signal. you know, you know, you <laughs> know, gonna make it work, though. We're gonna make it. What's up, everybody? Welcome what's to up, episode nine of Let's Talk Culture with my boy Iggy Sean Dunn, yeah, a yeah. loud can you, mouth. Can you, can you hear me pretty, pretty good, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make it sure, bro. Yes, sir. But yeah, I'm sorry, it's on the road. Just huh. Say sorry, it's on the road this oh, week, no, brother. No, you good, man. We gonna make it work. Hey, hey, they rock with us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they they still gonna tune in. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so man, so let's see. You wanna go, go ahead and get started on the heat, or should we? Should we? Should I mean, we, uh, hey, we, we it's hey, it's the it's the it's the main topic right now. You know what I'm saying? We can start there if you well, want. Let's get it. Too. Then. Yeah, let's get it. That's that's a hot topic this week. Future uh, and Metro. Future and Metro album drop um, causing hella buzz based off. Hella ruckus. Of, uh, hella ruckus. Uh, they had, so the album's got surprises features on it. And one of those features is Kendrick Lamar. And I don't know if you guys. I Rick know. Ross on it. Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross is on there. Travis Scott is on there. Playboy Cardi. You know, it's crazy because I went into that album. They said there was no features, bro. They did a whole promo run. They said there was going to be no features. So I went into that. When I woke up that morning and saw the Kendrick shit, I was like, bro, I thought they said there was going to be no features on there. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like, doing with, like, I don't know if Travis had showed the track list, but, you know, when he dropped um, that last album, he the when it dropped, it just had the yeah. songs. It didn't have who was featured on it until, yeah, like, the next it, day. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, type shit. Probably you know, but yeah, future and metro. Hey, don't trust you. What you, what you think about the album before we get into the to the verse? Well, first off, I gotta give Metro his props, bro. Like the producing on that bud, like he went crazy. Like especially with you know the main song that everybody talking about there, you know that we gonna get into. But yeah. as far as his production on there, bro, he went crazy. Future gonna be yeah. future, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like it, but I still feel like I feel this. This feel like mixtape future, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think this is better than the last project, the album, the um, dang, what's the album called? The one that got like puffing on Zooties and all that on there. Like, I still feel. Oh, uh, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I blindfold. Yeah, with the blindfold and you know wait on you with Tim's I still feel I feel that one is better than this one but like I said it's that was like album this like mixtape future like this brings back to like monster future you know what I'm saying that era mm -hmm. it gave me mm -hmm. that vibe you know what I'm saying so like I like it you know what I'm saying had a few it reminded you know me more so of uh it reminded me more so of a uh, high for life future more more so than because it wasn't fully like trapped you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was still kind of like he was still kind of like, like melodic on some stuff. It definitely was harder. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, there was definitely some yeah, hard beats. That's what I'm saying. Metro was went softer. Crazy. Cinderella was a softer song. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like I feel you. I think it was a blend because, um, the, like you said, the last album was very like mainstream future. Whereas, like, this one is more, I think it's a blend. I think it's a mainstream and then some mixtape. Yeah. Time. 
Yeah, like especially how he started it off. Like I, when, the way he started it off, I'm like, yeah, I I know, you know what I'm saying. I know what to expect on the rest of these songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, he started off crazy. So, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going crazy. Yeah, he started off going crazy. But I, I, mess with I think it, it gets better. I think it gets better with each listen. Because uh, when I first listened to it, I think the hype around the Kendrick song kind of muffled down the whole album. So, yeah. so when I first listened to it, I was like, this is straight. You know what I mean? This guy's, I got some songs I like. But then when I listened to it again, especially when I got in the car and kind of let it ride, mm-hmm. I was like, the production on this is A1. I mean, Chris. Yeah, he went crazy, bro. Uh, and then I thought Future, you know, he makes it up on, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't like, he makes it up. He gave you some lyrical shit. He gave you some some melodic shit. He gave you some some hardcore future shit. I think he gave you a lot of uh, different versions of himself on this album that is kind of getting slept on a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's getting better with each listen for me. I I think I got it in the album of the year so far. I know we kind of so far last week. Yeah, so far. I mean, well, it's it's over. But it's I mean, but with this count, kind of would this still count as first quarter though? Since you know, in a few weeks, I think first quarter April. ends. I think first quarter ends end of March. That's when I consider getting yeah. the first quarter. Gotcha. Well, yeah, he did drop before the end of March. So he dropped. So he <laughs> dropped last week. This week. So I still, I still got it there. I mean, Schoolboy Q's up there still. Obviously, Twenty One Savage, like you said last week. Uh, and then you know, Kanye. I think it's better than Kanye. And Top oh Dollar yeah, it's Dollar definitely Dollar. definitely better than Kanye and Top Dollar Sign. So. Uh, I think it's better than 21. So I have to listen to you it gotta li- You got to listen to 21, 21 again, bro. I just listened to 21 last week. You got to listen uh, to it again, the bro. New album. Okay. And then, that all on <laughs> me, like how you flip that wishing on the star sample, like, bro, Sneaky, uh, the song he got with Doja Cat. Dangerous that's so hard. Dirt. I mean, it's hard. I'm not going to say these albums hard, are hard. It's bro. Just, and then the like, R&B, like you said, the, the joint with Brent, the joint with Summer Walker and Burner Boy. Yeah, that like, joint with Brent. You know crazy. what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like you said, I'm not arguing. It's, I'm not arguing. Yeah. Like, for it to be a first quarter, this was a decent first quarter. Like, Yeah, I agree. It was some solid projects that dropped, for sure. It just letting you know the summer's going to be real crazy. I think Kendrick just set the summer off, you think, obviously. You gonna have, yeah, niggas, oh, yeah, of niggas, course. Niggas, niggas about to be in the booth. Now for sure. If they wasn't before, they about yeah. to be now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's like, literally uh, like so a yeah. hip hop so, civil war, bro. Man, it's crazy because I never saw Kendrick and Future teaming up on Drake and Jake. I never would have never saw that shit coming at all. Like Drake, Kendrick and Future teaming up. I ain't see that. Uh, I mean, I ain't gonna say Metro? I didn't see it either. But due to like you know just the stuff that's been going on over the years, like. One minute Drake and Drake and Future cool. One minute they not cool. Remember when they did that uh that joint album together? And he was like, "We weren't even in the studio for that," and this and that. And yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. know. Like some people feel it. You know, they it's might act like, like they yeah. yeah. Like some people feel like if the beat might be real, or I'm some speculating it's over a girl. Because if you listen to the the first joint on there, the that's basically him. Yeah. This and Drake. But some people feel yeah. it might just be publicity, like you know what I'm saying. It's gonna hype it up, then everybody gonna be all kumbaya. It could be. I mean, it could be publicity. I don't know. I man. was gonna it, it say seems, it seems it seems a little personal. Metro and Drake been shooting at each other for like a year. Drake and a half. have been shooting at each other, yeah. So, yeah, like uh, you said, future already, and then Metro, his boy. So he's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is what yeah. it is. But then we already been knowing about Cole and Kendrick. But I really feel Kendrick was like. Even though he said, you know, for you know, forget the uh, first person shooter, you know, uh, the top three is is just big me. Like, I really feel mm-hmm. he was going that Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm. You don't think J Cole? You think J Cole is just a, a stray? J Cole's just a stray. I think the I don't. I I thought was gonna to that respond to it. Like, I feel Drake gonna Drake will respond to it first. Like, you know, Drake always had like the. You know the subliminal messages yeah. of them long paragraphs he be texting. I, I know he will, but <laughs> I feel like J, J. Cole because I seen the meme, bro. There was like there was like uh, there was like he was really going that Drake. There was like J Cole was in the car. <laughs> nah, you know what? I I felt that way, but the more I listened to it, the first half. So after he gets into it, where he like jumps into the to 
more dissing him. Um, that first, what's up, Trey? That first half of it is J. Cole. Then he flips into the Drake part. Yeah. So when he talk about, um, but the that first half of it, walk around with the stick. That's that's going to J. Cole. Uh, the first person shooter, yeah. obviously going to J. Cole. Him saying, like, him I think saying Prince out there, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's going to Drake. See, the Prince out living Mike is going to – he did both of them. So, I think, you know what I mean? You know, for one to smoke, you know what I'm saying? Because like we said, we ain't going to take nothing from Kendrick. Like, this verse was better than that whole Morales Steppers uh, project he put out. No, you know what I'm saying? We're not, not going to do that, bro. We're not going to do that. Hey, it was that, better bro. than that whole Morales. Like, this feel like – this this verse sound like this how Kendrick been wanting to rap. Like, like, I won't like my dog I, was I, probably like, no, you ain't got to do all that. But now that he, he free and can do whatever, Kendrick's going to go crazy. After Mr. Morale dropped, which I love Mr. Morale, but after Mr. Morale dropped, and I've been seeing this, and this is kind of the this is kind of the wave right now with this verse. Mm -hmm. I said, listen, I love Kendrick. I love that he does these art pieces. You know what I'm saying? There's only so many artists that can do what he does. But he got to get back, back to rap on these niggas. I'm tired of hearing him. I am tired of hearing he 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 make all these weird sounds. Man, I'm just, he ain't really ratchet. They cold like oh, bro. Listen, <laughs> I, I am a listen, bro. I'm telling you, when Kendrick is a rapper for real, y'all gonna see, bro. Now he's starting now. He he threw a little baseball out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think J Cole and Drake gonna respond. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. It's only certain. Yeah, I don't think J Cole gonna respond, but I could definitely see Drake like. He, he probably ain't gonna Drake probably Jay ain't Cole gonna name drop him, but he probably he definitely gonna have Drake some subliminals. Has to name, I don't think Drake can do subliminals anymore, bro. That's over with. I think J. Cole is gonna respond. I don't know. No, only reason I say that because I ain't gonna lie, while I was riding today, like, you know, music on shuffle, I heard um I was listening to the Drake in twenty one, like one of them songs came on and yeah. I'm like I could hear some little stuff in there but i was like yeah. i ain't paid no mind no, you know Jesse. kendrick was yeah you know what I'm my saying? brother but now after my brother said my brother said when j cole did that steppers line and um, first person shooter he told he that, that that we listened to that together he's like bro that he shoot he talked he taking the this at uh at kendrick i was like bro everybody's saying they steppers now that could be a that could I, he was like bro no nah, that was that he wouldn't have said that unless it's going to because the way he said it was very like Specific, you know what I'm saying? He's like, that's going to Kendrick, and then now here we are. Apparently, Kendrick felt the same way. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's lit though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's lit. It's lit. They saying they're the best. J. Cole been saying he the best for like two years now, bro. Yeah, you know, what, you know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Got to come back and remind. I just feel bad for Big Sean. Yeah, because he. He dropped a he heater. Dropped he dropped heat, a heater man. this weekend. He dropped Literally, a but it's like he, it, he getting lost in the sauce. Always, again, yeah, bro. he done got lost in the sauce, bro. Like it, it was actually <laughs> fire, but everybody was like, "Oh, he he doing Drake, he doing uh Drake catered." So it's still Drake Cole and Kendrick. No, no way. <laughs> Big, who said that? Bro. Who said that Drake doing? I mean, Big Sean doing Drake cadence on that song. It was like the, before he dropped the song, the little freestyle he did before he dropped. the oh, song. Oh yeah, that was like he sounded like idea. Drake. I was Drake sounded like Big Sean first. If you do your hip, if you do your hip hop history, Drake was sounding like Big Sean first back in two thousand. What was that? Like two thousand twelve, thirteen time frame. Bro, Blessings Drake, and all that. Yeah. Come on, man. We're not happy to do that now. Hey, I just feel he should have waited, bro. Like I would have, like I would have waited. Like nobody knew the kid. Nobody knew that kid that shit was on there. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like. I, I'm sure if he, if, I'm sure if it got around the industry, if that was about to drop, he probably would have pushed back. But man, we all woke up. I woke up at eight o'clock in the morning, and it was memes everywhere already. Literally, like, like, like I said, when I read it, I was like, eh. But when I heard it, yeah, I'm you, like, no, you bro, heard it, yeah. yeah. Bro, it's different when you yeah. hear it. That joke was so hard. I took Future off the song. I, I ain't need his verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah for real. Future, verse, Future was just a lead up. He was just a lead up on that song. Yeah. I, I ain't even need future verse, bro. No, nah, Kendrick killed that job. But hey, he, uh, what well, um, who side you on? What do you mean? Who side I'm on? You know I'm a Kendrick fan, bro. Dark skin baby, Kendrick and Future team. Dark skin, uh, you know what it is. Oh lord. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so you think Kendrick go? Oh, so you think Kendrick go? Uh, go bring y'all back in the dough now? 
<laughs> uh, I mean, shoot, we about to see. <laughs> Yo, he he gonna revive y'all. <laughs> he about to see, bro. He about to see. Hey. Revive us from what? We ain't never been dead. Hey. And ain't tell y'all y'all was out of style. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> nah, I just Who said that. But hey, I'm uh, hey, bro. Hey, my middle name Jermaine, bro. It, I'm Team Cole over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, hey, shoot, this is interesting because I love Cole. J. Cole is one of my everybody goats. now. Everybody Drake, like Drake's my goat, but we got to pick sides. Hey, listen, everybody know where I stand. I've been letting it know for years where I stand, bro. I love J. Cole, but I've always said Kendrick better. So yeah, it ain't no so it ain't no. Don't be surprised now. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the opposite. Like I, I mess with Kendrick, but I like Cole. It, he, I like when it came to them two. I always been more of a Cole. I just wish he put his. Mixtapes on DSTs, bro. But thank God for live mixtapes. He took some of them off. He took some of them off. They were on there, bro. Thank God for live mixtapes, bro. Live mixtapes still got everything. Mixtapes still got everything. They got oh, they got Friday night night lights. You know what I'm saying, like, bro, classic. Yeah, this. But now anybody like who uh 21 gonna side with? (laughs) Uh, shoot. I mean, with Drake, but you know. Future and Metro, that's him and Metro, him and his Metro is his boy. He probably gonna stay out. Yeah. <laughs> he probably gonna stay out of it. He probably gonna pop up in another hip hop uh, documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other, any other songs or drops you like this weekend, bro? I ain't gonna lie, that's really the only one that been in the, um <laughs> trying to think of who else dropped. Right? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie when. They- uh, rap wise, rap wise, nobody else some singles that dropped. Um, but I can't, like, um, I don't know if they the dropped. Girl that yet, sings but... water dropped. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, as far as rap, I don't know if the song came out, but you know, Boss Man D-Lo, he got that finesse song. Apparently, Glorilla on the remix. Yeah, she on a but I, a remix. I think he. I don't know if I it think dropped. It's about yet. to come out. Okay, it's about to come out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know. Um, um yeah, yeah. Rap is kind of. Outside of future and match, I'm trying to think of this. What I'm saying, this like, like I can't right, think of anybody R- else that dropped. R&B, sir, sir, drop for R and B. I water heard that. Songs, the water song, mm-hmm. Tyler, Tyler, she dropped. Uh, uh, and yeah, so good little weekend. Big Sean dropped a single. Yeah, yeah Big Sean. Yeah, like I said Babyface Ray dropped a single. Um, I made some Babyface. So, so yeah, it was some, it was some good, it was some good drops this weekend. Uh, uh, do you think this this era hip hop can handle a good rap competition? I feel like like people people calling it corny and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because oh lord, because Kendrick uh, speaking about you know a rapper or making it making it known he feels he's number one. You know that I'm ain't saying? corny. Do you feel like hey, this? It was. Do you feel like this era? This era. I mean. I don't know. I mean, we ain't seen it in a long time, but through the history, we didn't had we didn't seen this before with with individuals. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Pac and Big, yeah. Nas and Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't nothing wrong with with friendly competition. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what it was built on. It yeah, was built on who was the better MC. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, yeah, it might yeah. be corny now because I mean, everybody got millions of dollars, and you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like friends, you, you already like. Like a legend in your own right, you know what I'm saying? So, for us to pick, like, no, at the end should, of the day, they all matter. great, you it, know what I'm saying? But, should, really, it should be the young boys doing it. We Kendrick, Cole, and Drake, oh, they established. They OG I mean, status they, now. They, they, yeah, they're, they're, their legacy is a stamp. You know what I'm saying? It's stamp. So, that's probably why they like it. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, y'all stamp. Like, so it really, it really shouldn't be them, even though they still the top dogs. It should be the young dude is, that's, is like, actually dope. that's trying to be. Yeah, that's trying to be like, I, no, I'm the best, you know, type shit. Because um, Kendrick dropped control in like 2013. You know what I'm saying? Like, what a time. That's that's that's, mm-hmm. that's when Good Kid Mad City had just came out. What a time to be alive. Exactly. And now we're looking at it a whole 10 years later. He's still having to shake yeah. shit up. It should be the it should be the young dudes. Like, hey, no, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. Instead of everybody trying to, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, know what they trying to do. They look at they look at <laughs> Big Crit chilling. I mean, they they look at Big Crit yeah. chilling. Yeah, I saw his name getting. They look at like Big Crit chilling, boy, because hey, that Mount Olympus, that Mount Olympus record yeah. he dropped, that, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. When he his control, response, yeah, nobody, 
Bruh, he smoked that joint, yeah. bruh. Yeah, he smoked that. Yeah, he You know that. what I'm saying? But like it would be, nice be nice to Big Chris to kind of throw his hat in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Big Sean, they can't. Hey, because, too, for a minute, it was, I just been hearing Big Sean on features. So, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I need to, yeah, I want Chris, yeah. He probably still chilling, though, but, yeah, I he going to remind some. If he do pop out, he going to remind these folks. Yeah, Chris legacy stamp too. That's what I mean. Like all these guys are pretty much stamped. OGs, we see bro. The young guys that's like shaking it up. You know what I mean? We should we should hear about and it's really not even young, young rappers. All the all the young rappers is female rappers popping. Yeah. Can't think of none of the young dudes outside the ones we already know. Yeah, unless you go to them Bronx dudes like like the B things and all that all that like I'm just naming people I be hearing and I be hearing. Like what my yeah. brother be listening to, he, he be bumping like you know the Ken Carson and like that type of lucky. Like yeah, I don't even know Ken Ken Carson's not. He, he, he be bumping them type people. Like they be putting me on. Or like my boy Jay that I be working with, he be he be putting me on some of them. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, shoot, man. Uh, what's the next time? You got the topics, bro. Oh yeah, I just yeah, thought about something happens. too. I seen a meme and it was like uh, Drake. Like when he heard it, when he was like, they gonna respond. So somebody made a meme with Drake and him writing, and it said, "You ain't pimping, you just a butterfly." <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was rolling, bro. Hey, they, I ain't gonna lie, boy. They they gonna have to put some. They gonna have to get the work on them. On them. It can't be no. It can't be no weak bars. Yeah, they gonna go crazy. Y'all respond, respond back. Y'all respond back. Hey, school. Yeah, don't be like my boy. Somebody Luda. Says, I was gonna say somebody was like, um, Drake might want to. Think about it because now Kendrick got Metro at his disposal. If Kendrick do a whole, whole tape with Metro dedicated to Drake, you know how ugly that will get. Drake can get London on the track. What you mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> got London on the track. <laughs> it was out before Metro. I think that's true, but I, I think I remember hearing London on the track. You know the the Walker Rich Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Travis, I Travis Porter. I don't know if London can match with Metro on that, but we'll see. Hey, I'm just, I'm just. But what you about being to petty. say, bro? I was gonna say, um, I see you wearing your, um, what was I saying? Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll come back to whatever I was gonna say, but yeah, I see you rocking your big orange. How you feel about March Madness, man? Man, so um, last night was stressful as a Tennessee fan. Yeah, uh, but we pulled it off. We, we, Pulled it out. We played probably our worst offensive game all year. Can't make a basket, but we pulled the game out. That's probably if we keep playing defense like that, bro. We going to the final four. Yes, so, bro. Uh, we still in the mix. We at the Sweet Sixteen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So, um, you know, I can't be too mad. Um, I just, you know, hopefully we click on offense here the next week. So we can get some big bucks. Because Dalton Connect do for a big game, so hey. uh, yeah. So and shout out see. to them Lady so Balls. Hell yeah, they won. Won. they won. Are they playing? They playing? No, they play tomorrow. Yeah, we play tomorrow. Right? Okay. I can't remember who we played, but we play tomorrow. And then man, yeah. no, New Tennessee playing, State, um, they was up at halftime and got blown. Yeah, they out. just lost. They just lost. Yeah, I just like, saw dang, that, that would have been so crazy if, if they yeah, would have put out LSU. Just, saw that. They was giving them some pressure, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's like. So- as soon as that girl found out, yeah, it can't can change. Uh, how you feel about March Madness, bro? How you think the women's is measuring up to the men's? I know that's been a talk. Uh, the women lit, bro. The, yeah, I don't know. I don't know viewership wise, but I just like I, we've been saying over the pod. I'm just glad that women basketball they finally getting their flowers, the, the yeah, or bro. just the talk. You know what I'm saying? The getting the talk around it. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what. It can look like in the next few years, but these last few years has been it's been amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so for sure. I, I'm rocking with I'm rocking with it. Like I said, you, I already told you. Like my our girls looking good. Hey, I want either Tennessee, South Carolina, LSU, or USC to get it, bro. Like that's, yeah. So I'm still pulling for they they still in there. They still looking good. But you know, hey, that Kalen Clark. I mean, South Carolina, South Carolina beating beating people, bro. Down, they be, so. The breaks off North Carolina, yeah, bro. I feel bad because I seen a post 
uh, the mom, she got a, a a daughter that plays for North Carolina and for Tennessee. Yeah, and Tennessee. she was going to both games. Bro, they got blown out, yeah. bro. Like, they had 80 yeah, at halftime. Uh, they had 70 at halftime and literally ended with 88. I was like, dang, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. 70 at halftime. Bro, Dunn really Stanley did. do not play, bro. Yeah, she don't like, play. They that's don't what, be, they, what I'm saying. They coming back gotta, this shit. Shit, They literally like how, how UConn was, the lady, how they was back in the day, bro. That is literally what South Carolina yeah. reminded me of. What's up, Pop? That is what the, the women in South Carolina remind me of. They remind me of UConn. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you know, can't forget, you know, the gold past summit 14 championships, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. So, absolutely. That, like that. I said, women's basketball lit, bro. I'm all for it, but yeah, that, I think it's been I, man's has been man's has been more competitive than I thought it was. Yeah, let's talk about uh, who cheese <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, Kentucky yeah. out of here, bro. Yeah, Kansas out, out of here, of, Florida yeah. out of here. Got smacked too, God, out of here. Uh, uh, man, we lost a lot of SEC teams. Lost a lot. It's only saying, us. bro. Who, this is why I don't do the bracket. Left? It's it's us and who left in the SEC? Uh, I Texas think Alabama's Texas. still in it. Alabama, yeah. It's probably just us two. They play Alabama play today though. I think Alabama. Yeah, they play. They I forgot who they play. I think it's uh same something. They should win, but hey, you you, you never know, bro. They they for real about the upset. This is why I don't yeah. do the bracket, bro. This is why I don't do the bracket. I did some brackets this year. It but, do be stressing you out. That makes it fun though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes it fun, but it's like, dang, bro. The upsets are crazy. That's that's crazy. what I'm like, saying. Like, come on, bro. Kentucky. Who they, they lost, they lost to, bro. Come on, bro. To Oakland. Yeah, like, like bro. <laughs> Hey, that's college basketball now, though, because a lot of these teams, like Kentucky, is built for one and done, so they don't have no kind of chemistry going into the tournament. And they play playing these teams with fourth year, fifth year, seniors, juniors, and they've been playing for three or four years ago. Yeah. They just got – they just, just – a better team when it comes – like the tournament is built for those kind of teams, more veteran teams, more, you know what I mean, kind of deep and – yeah, if you a one and done, if you ain't not, if you don't have a superstar as a one and done, mm-hmm. probably not gonna really, really move nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then like, cause my brother here Kentucky fan, like I wasn't keeping up with him, but it was a dude that was coming off the bench that was balling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't think of his name, but he 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 was he'll come off the bench and hit like 20, uh, 20 plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it, it's all lit, bro. Like I said, I want I want Tennessee to go all the way. So like. Yeah, like we too, bro. We, you know, what I'm saying we're gonna keep hope alive. Yeah, we're gonna see, bro. If anything, we got a week final four, it. bro. If we can't win it, at least yeah, final we just, four, bro. Yeah, we just gotta get to the final four. Uh, to me, you know, I want to. This team is good enough to get to the final four. I just say that Thanks. we're good enough to get to the final four, and then we see what happens. Yeah, with it. but uh, we good enough to win. Our, we good enough to win our bracket out. I think we got the best player in college basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, 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 it made me happy to see when his shot went, when Dalton Connect's shot went fall, he was getting to the rim, dog. He was getting rebounds, dunking it, getting to the free throw line. That's what I that's what I like to see. A lot of these young cats don't do that. They shot not falling, and they keep trying to shoot it, and they breaking it. They don't get to the rim. Get to the rim and get to the free throw line so you can get rid of Yeah, like He's Malik, Malik Mouse last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went 0 for 11. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> see, that's what I mean. Like, if it ain't hitting, get to the rim. You know what I'm saying? Go to go inside. Try to get hey, some fouls. Slow the game Sorry, down. What's up, boy? But trash, bro. What up? What up? What up? What up? Uh, uh, but yeah, man. Shoot. So, um, put me on the speed with uh Meek Mill and academics. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I, I thought you knew about. I know this. what I'm saying. I- I've been seeing the trolling. <laughs> I've been seeing the trolling, but like, what's the the root of it though? Like, all right. So the root of it. So the root of it is, uh, uh you know, Meek Mills in the P Diddy case, right? He got tied up in that. So academics was reported on. You know, I could. What's up? Love. Yeah, love. yeah, that's Philadelphia. Love, yeah. <laughs> whatever, dog. Listen, whatever, dog. 
So I I actually read that this was it is bro it is wild I don't know how anybody I said even if they cap in <laughs> dog I don't crazy. know I don't know if you can <laughs> I don't know if you can make all of that up I read it I was like dog this is if somebody's making all of this up they have got to write a book a movie or something yeah. this is Surviving way did, too much detail Bobby did it finna go crazy man, man way too much detail so anyways. <clears throat> they got pictures in there, screenshots. I saw, I read it all. I was like, bro, this is crazy. So anyway, I, I'm literally, this is at, that's how he was reading it, right? This is crazy. And then so the part came up where, you know, it doesn't mention Meek Mill's name, but it specifically describes him as Philly rapper that dated Nicki Minaj. So he's like, oh man, Meek Mill in here type. So anyways, so Meek gets mad at him. Goes on right? Twitter. He mad to my yeah, goes on Twitter talking about he he trying to tear the black community down, and he gonna pull up. He said he gonna pull up to him. Somebody send me his address. I'm gonna pull up and piss on his uh, mailbox. So that's obviously act ain't really. Hold rocking you, with Philly, hey, yeah, them Philly dudes crazy. Act ain't really rocking with you know him talking about he gonna pull up to his address and, and all I, other stuff. So seen him clown him when he dropped that. Uh, so, I don't know if it was a project he, or EP. So he dropped the mixtape. Yeah, he <laughs> dropped the mixtape that weekend. So that was the wrong weekend to mess with Act because he literally watched the numbers the entire week. <laughs> <laughs> so it only said it sell that much. So I clowned him on that. Then he clowned him on because, uh, you know, me, me doing a prison reform. Mm -hmm. So he's been working with the mayor. So he was like, listen, I'm going to have everybody call up to the mayor and let them know you've been sitting with a guy that's talking about prison reform. But now he's talking about he's going to spin the block and shoot my yeah. house up. Piss on. So I just want to make it known this guy's a. <laughs> A hypocrite. <laughs> I'm like, bro, meet me to shut up. Cause he kept getting on uh, Twitter talking about the worst. Oh, now, place. You know, I said I said all that just because it's Twitter entertainment, bro. You can't threaten people and then turn around and talk about it's Twitter entertainment, bro. Entertainment, yeah. Like, that's, that's, especially when you talking about this. prison reform. Yeah, especially when you talking about you trying to get niggas out of jail and prison reform. And you trying to save the block, but then you talking about spending a block on academics and you got your killers on them and all this other stuff, bro. You can't be both. You got to be one. <laughs> so Act was, was calling him. Act uh, was calling him. He said, "What you think this is? Gotham City? You, you <laughs> 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 Bruh. Bruh. The funniest part of this is Act tried to employ that dude, bro. Bro, yeah, because he got on Twitter again. To my man, I need a podcast. <laughs> man, you know, if I had a podcast, bro, me shut yeah, up, talk bro. To you, bro. Man, shut up. Nobody's trying to hear you on no podcast, bro. You, you set you set that take up. It if you was me. What's up? Take the, uh, I said if you was me, would you take the opportunity? If I was serious about it, probably that wasn't a bad deal. Yeah, because yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like it wasn't bad. But it I mean because yeah, like I seen people talking about oh, I ain't gonna work with my ops and this and that. We ain't gotta be friends. Man, <laughs> if we that's get a business back, deal, bro. That's a business deal. That wasn't a like, bad deal. Gave him, nobody else going to give him that. That's why I was like, that, I thought he was going to take it. They're not. But, I, you know, he know Act going to troll him about being his boss. But, hey, if you was really serious about getting a podcast, you'll take that because I, I think it was an okay deal. He over there with Spotify. You know what I'm saying? He did the everyday struggle with Joe. And you see where yeah, Joe got Like, podcast yeah. is still lit. You yeah, got yeah, Club yeah. Shay, Shay and them. You know what I'm saying? They turning up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We like turning that. up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we turning up. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, nah, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like Meek is about to be 40 years old, bro. Get the fuck off Twitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro. Stop arguing with people on Twitter. If you yeah, really bought that, you do it you on wax. Out. Yeah, you have nothing to prove, bro. You working with you working with me? Well, you been sitting with Robert Kraft and, and sitting with Billy and yeah, then, bro, Michael, why are you Michael, arguing Michael with Rubin on Twitter? Yeah. yeah. About them parties, too. Hey. Meek didn't help himself, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When they, when the gay allegations came out, he definitely made it worse. <laughs> my pop showed me something too. I forgot what it was, but like he, my pops even showed me something. I was like, oh no, nah. like yeah, not me, bro, yeah. <laughs> not me. Yeah, he 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 was not happy. Like, bro, you sound like somebody exactly like that. Don't want people to find out they're gay or not. That's how you act. You act just like that, bro. Which is, yeah, hey, I ain't no wrong with North, it, but... Hey, them people of North Wild, they told you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, well, hey, listen, he took an L to academics this week, so... Yeah, let's see how he 
bounce back. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, they could next up on the list. They could have kept Ross off that song too. I'm sorry, bro. That life. How you feel? I, now that I think about it, how you feel about that project they did together? It was, it was, yeah, I forgot. It came out this year, and it's already. <laughs> <laughs> we real. <laughs> it came out this year and it nobody oh, remember it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think bro. Ross was going to do that. I don't know. It just felt it felt like a it felt like I don't know. It felt like it I think me trying to I don't know. I think Ross got there's something going on business wise with them. Cause yeah, because like, I was gonna say it wasn't it didn't have no major I think they put it out in the no promo. There was no promo. It didn't feel like Rick Ross was very involved with that at all. It just felt like he oh, was, snap. you know what I'm saying? I said, don't forget, Ross and Diddy swapping spit on stuff. Oh, dang. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, I, I, I didn't they know do. about that. To but then. <laughs> hey, I didn't know that. Surviving, surviving Diddy, produced by Pit, Curtis Pitt hey. Cent Jackson. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, hey, listen, Diddy, I, it ain't looking good. I'll just say that. Man, I, ain't seen like no, I ain't seen down, no bro. interviews. I ain't seen no, my. He really don't need. He he probably should do the opposite of what no, R. Kelly did. R. What Kelly fell off the face of the earth? Yeah, and, what? And, and, and made Gail it. King, Gail, Gail King. Gail yeah, King. <laughs> yeah, Diddy don't need to do no interviews, bro. I don't think Diddy would do an interview anyways unless he can control the narrative. He's not like R. Kelly, bro. He he's totally Diddy is like. I, Diddy is very methodical in business and like media presence, whereas R. Kelly is just methodical and he just, you know, he was just into young girls. But he wasn't a media. He didn't think that's because he would have never got on TV and did that if he did. Diddy is not gonna get on TV and talk unless he can control the narrative. It's got to be on Revolt. It's got to be on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't gonna be with no Gail King. It's gonna be with Joe Budden, somebody that's on his table. Breakfast Club. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Wild and out well, we probably won't see an interview from Diddy. He don't really need to say nothing. Yeah. Anything he's saying ain't going to help, to be honest. Yeah, most people just don't, don't come out. <laughs> so, Man, yeah. you uh, um, you asked me, um, was radio dead? I was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say, what, uh, um, was it an article or did something happen that made you? Uh, I just kind of was thinking um, that was kind of kind of pulling away from like the whole uh, this whole week with the with the competitiveness and like you know with Kendrick dropping the track because I feel like back in the day like that, that track would have been all over the radio yeah, you know what I'm saying place, like, yeah been, where now it's kind of like like you hear it through memes and like the TikToks and stuff and it's allowing people to react to it differently than they would if it was on radio so I I thought about um, just like is radio like even dying in that way? Like, is it is it losing its complete reach? Period. Oh, uh, I don't know. Like, I would say one, it depends on like what station it is. But what I've learned, from, like when I went to school and this and that, because I was thinking about doing radio too, and I ain't knocking anybody that do it. But like you know, like you said, with like how we on the podcast and you know during the breaks, you know, you come with your news and this and that, or your topics and you know, asking your cats, you know, how they feel about it, why they on the air in between the music. Yeah. Or, you know, having your own set playlist and this and that, you know, radio, you know, now it's just like, you know, the top 50, top 100, you got your A's and B's, them the ones you're going to hear the most. C's and D's you can yeah. swap out. But um, but uh, yeah, the a radio is, guy a told lot. me, I really feel radio is still around. Like, yeah, of course, for the people who don't want to hook up their phone, you know, just want to cut on the radio while they driving to work or something or but radio, I really feel it's still around is for um like marketing. Yeah. Like, or you yeah. know, if you need promotion, like yeah. you know, if it's a show coming yeah. up, you know, yeah. the radio promote the show or yeah. you know, if you got a yeah. business, Commercial. they shout you out on yeah. the radio. Yeah. Like a guy really told me like that's that's why radio's still around. Like he was saying, if you can get like my pop said, yeah, it's a good market, yeah, information. If you can get that buzz in there, like you know, that way, then you'll be straight. Like, like you try to go in there and like do your own thing. That's the easiest way to get out the door. Yeah, but it's yeah. really around for, for sure. like promotion and, like you said, information, promotion, and marketing. So it it really depends. Like, but that's sure. the thing. Like, you know, the times that changed. You know, back then, like we didn't have these streaming platforms. We 
you know, all we had was the radio, uh, you know, our mixtape CDs that we made off Windows Media Player, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For burning, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Compared to, or, you know, like, even with the news, like, having to catch the news um, on TV or before you went to school in the morning, like, these kids ain't going to know about sitting there, seeing yeah. your school yeah, for sure. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah. It's straight to the yeah. fall now, yeah, you know? It's like, oh, and ain't nothing wrong with it, you know, but, like, granted to this day, still every time I we be on the phone, I right, now nah, I just told you better watch the news and it, I'm like, granted, it's pop up on my phone, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's <laughs> now. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. I mean of course you can't rely on technology though, you know what I'm saying? You know, God yeah, forbid, yeah. but you see That's you see true. when the towers had went down and everybody was like, Oh my phone ain't working. Shoot, it's T Mobile I mean not T Mobile, um AT and T went down, um Facebook Went yeah, down back to back week. and apparently they said Instagram was logging people out. I ain't got logged out, but they were saying, Yeah, that was happening yesterday, I think, or Saturday. Yeah. Um, which is crazy. That's literally been like three or four weeks straight where something's been hacked or something. I think it's AI, dog. It's making it way easier, yeah. But yeah, so, so that's my take on radio, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, okay. I salute, salute the people that's in it. I got friends and people that they be on the air and stuff, and so this was. Still cool. So I don't even think. I don't Shout think out Power Ninety. To do radio. I don't think people knew you try to do radio. I was going to do radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I had thought. Of, I really thought about it. You know, man. You be. A, I think. I think. I think you'd be good. But I think podcasting is going to slowly start taking over. Because I think now that podcasting is, at least for me, uh, you know, we're working with what I'm doing. That's kind the of goal to get ad, to get ad revenue yeah. and marketing. So like. Once that turns into a podcasting thing, I think it'll definitely be like the nail in the coffin for the radio. Yeah, or so shoot, we'll see. Or who knows? Uh, the radios might start getting into podcasts. Yeah, you know, they instead, should. Honestly, so like they're the, late with that. Instead of that same old format that they've been doing over the years, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? they should. Honestly, these radio stations should kind of start flipping to that little. Yeah, or just, you know, just at least switch it up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, that same format, that same old, you know, songs here or. You know what I'm saying? Just playing like 30 seconds of it and like, I don't know. I just feel that they can switch it up. It could probably re revamp. You never know. Just like, even though we streaming music, like, bro, vinyls are selling more than CDs yeah. now. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? And I, vinyls the sales are going to keep going up too, I think. I think vinyls sales You know what I'm saying? Going up. Man, so, so it's like, you never know. Like, they, somebody might come with a formula that could, that could turn the radio back up. It's true. But definitely, you know, yes, shout out to all the podcasters out there too. You know what I'm saying? Because it definitely yes, the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the wave. They got to catch our wave, so. Yes, sir. We're gonna be like sure. we're gonna be we like Kendrick. They like uh, they're not even Drake. and J Cole. They like you ain't like, Pippin. You just a butterfly. <laughs> 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 Bro, I'm sorry, saying that just. I, I ain't gonna okay. Every time I see that, I think about uh, I be thinking about Mike Hills. <laughs> been pimping since been pimping since been pimping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, well, I, I'm gonna get this some, is a, oh, I get into some special mentions. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that was okay, all the questions, but okay, for sure. Bro, so how you feel yeah, about yeah. man? How you feel about them trolling on Kit, bro? You talking about Shannon? Dude, oh, you didn't see oh, it. the blue jeans, yeah, and the yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah they tripping, they tripping, bro. That's a classic, that's a classic look. What you mean, bro? Oh, coordinating yeah. everything, bro. Yeah, he had the new ball, he had the baby powder new balances on with the with the polo official Ralph Lauren, and then and I don't even know, they might have been Levi's, I don't know, but shit, he had the, the no wash out, you know what I'm saying. Straight. Yeah, that was regular fit. It wasn't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, like his age, like how he looked like. Had, yeah. If them girls had to be like 20. Bro, no they, they found the girl who was dissing them. And yes, bro, she, yeah, she she was young, bro. She had to be. She had to be no more than 20, 21. Bro. I was yes. like, bro. That's no wild, mid 20 bro. above woman going to say that fit is, is whack. Because that's, that's, that's a classic. That's a classic. Oh, a classic OG pick, bro. Fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's, that's, shoot. Yeah, we was dressed like, I was dressed like that. I was dressed like that. Come <laughs> on, bro. Oh, bro. Come on, bro. We're not going to do that to my boy. Man, man. 
Then going back to the uh, future. Hey, that's what. Hey, this 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 uh this this dating world is something else, bro. Don't tell you with these women and us, women versus men, bro. That's another sign. I'm like, bro, he's wearing regular clothes. You, what's he supposed to wear? You know what I'm saying? Literally, like, you got a regular clothes. Like, y'all you know wearing regular clothes. Like, what's he supposed to wear? You know what I mean? The tight ass leather jeans, and y'all gonna call that a high a effort? A hard baggy jeans is coming back in anyway. Man, I'll say it, bro. They got crazy, bro. Like, so <laughs> to media, bro, it, it messed the game up, bro. Yeah, it has messed the game up. That's it for messed sure. the game yeah. up, bro. It messed the game all the way up. That's but um, I meant to tell you, too, so going back to the Drake and Metro, like, people, like, you know, choosing sides. So, apparently, that was, like, Nav and Ross had unfollowed Drake. Yeah, I seen, yeah, Nav, Ross, uh, Travis Scott was trying to get them to play the song on, on stage. Uh, oh, too. So he was trying to. He was like, talk, he was trying to amp it up, trying to get them to play the song. And I'm like, bro, is it, hey Drake might, have, hey Drake might have to really go Super Saiyan if he, because it's looking like niggas is, <laughs> it's looking like they flipping up on him now. You know what I'm saying? So he literally, because I was like, I was like, I ain't know him and Ross had beef. I'm like, all them. I mean, just like with him and Future, all them classic songs they done dropped. Yeah. But I'm like, him and Ross got some songs. I'm like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. They got some great songs. Fantastic and, and songs. Everybody was trolling Nav. Like, I, I messed with Nav a little bit, but I was like, they was trolling Nav. Man, I ain't listening to Nav. I don't think I listened to a Nav album since 2015, bro. I'm going mean, to say his last one was decent. I the one that got that I can't, I can't uh, with it. Travis Scott and Lil Baby. Uh, oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No Sleep. Like, I think, with he's, that. I think he's an original in industry player, bro. That's I, I never think. thought I about it like that. I think he is. I think he, because he never really, you know how, like, you know how the guys we talk about, like Kendrick, Cole, Meek, they all had a lead up. They all had mixtape. Yeah. We kind of knew where they came from. Oh, yeah, like, came from so he like four bands? Man, bro, he came from nowhere, bro. <laughs> One minute, he's on a song with, he doing a whole mixtape with Metro Boomin. I'm like, bro, who is this dude? Yeah. Man, he went from there. So, yeah, I think he wanted the original industry claims. You know what I'm saying? I never thought. I never thought about that. Because the song is very, his sound is very manufactured too. It's not, unique. yeah. You know what I mean? It's very manufactured. It's like everybody else. Too. Yeah. So it's not like he's a unique artist. Yeah. Where he's like, like he stands. Oh, well, this is where he came. This like, you know, you can from. tell he's like strange. he hang with yeah, like yeah, Travis like, and them. Not to say they the same, not to say anywhere, but like Thundercat. Like, I want to say Thundercat came out of nowhere because he was in bands, but. Like, you know when you hear certain artists, like, oh, that's a new artist. Oh, he's different. That's why he's like, you know what I mean? Where, like, Nav is very manufactured. It's not like everybody else. So what makes him more special to work at Metro Boom than that guy? You know what I mean? Yeah. But speaking of uh, still on this topic, because I, I caught this before we Bruh, got Bro, Guy home. King June, by the way. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, shout out Guy King June. Bro, so... Drake last night, I guess it was last night at his show, he walked out to Future My Savages. Oh, he did? Yeah, he walked out to My Savages by Future, so. Okay. Like, is he being petty? Bro, or... Hey, this is some, this is some WWE <laughs> shit. <That's what> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> like, is he being petty or is, like you said, is this all just... Because <laughs> you know they said Future, they got another project dropping. I don't know if it's Future and Metro, but they saying... Like this, is just a warm up. Yeah, they said they could drop yeah, another. Metro got another. They got yeah. They supposed to drop another one in maybe next month or May, early May or end of end of April. Yeah. So, damn man, uh, I can't wait. You eat Chick Fil A, fam? I do. I heard about them. Heard uh, about switch, they said, said, yeah, they said they switching up the chicken. You still gonna mess yeah. with them? Yeah, I don't know, bro. That, that's a big piece. You know, we do that with Zion, so. We try to keep him a little more healthy with that. We do the grilled chicken. Um, yeah, his mom was the one that sent me that article. Yeah, I, I read it before. I, I was like, I don't know. Say, bro. They I don't the, know why they the chicken? That. Yeah, I don't know if they should do that, bro. I, I don't know if they should do that. I think most people may not care, but you know, part of the reason why you know we we like them is because of the quality. So yeah. uh, if the quality goes down because y'all using manufactured chicken or you know chicken with antibiotics in it. That's going to mess up people's stomachs. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. Team probably, Zaxby's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Zaxby's. So, 
Oh. I actually like um who else do I like? I like Zaxby's. I like um uh, somewhere I just with uh the um damn who did I just you had a big chicken yet? The what? The big, big chicken? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I went. That's I can't remember what. Yeah, big yeah, Shaq's. Yeah, I went a couple weeks ago. Across it's the street pricey. from my job. It's pricey. Yeah, bro. My coworker John, he bought me, him, and my boy Jay a sandwich and some popcorn chicken. It was fifty dollars. I was yeah. like, damn. I said, yeah, yeah. I, I felt bad for him. Though. Like he, he said it was you, on me. I, I felt bad. I was like, you, you know what I'm saying? You sure. <laughs> I was like, no, yeah. All, the items are priced apart, so you, there's no combo. So you have to buy yeah. things separately. But you get plenty of food, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was gonna say the, the sandwich. It, it was lives fine. up to the name. It, it was fine. Yeah, it's good. It's just I can't be paying those 30, 40 bucks. I felt bad for the kids. I went. We was looking at kids. I'm like, bro, you gotta pay for you, your kids. So you got. Three kids and your wife. That's you pushing eighty. Yeah, eighty nine bucks, for, bucks for a chicken. Too, that man, you, you better finish and you better finish it too. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah, curls. Nah, that, that's not worth it. Ninety dollars is a is a sit down candlelit dinner, not big chicken. I love Shaq. I'm just being real. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shaq, man. Hey, so you probably gonna laugh at this too because you know we were talking about brotherly love. So you know how when somebody say something crazy, you know we'll be like pause. But now they saying yeah, I just did no, that with my homie. It was like <laughs> instead of saying pause, people saying no diddy. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hit the same. It ain't gonna hit the same. Cause somebody somebody did a post and then he was like he said something crazy. Um, he was like I put all my dudes in position, no diddy. That actually makes sense, but <laughs> I don't think it's gonna hit the same as like just regular content. It's not gonna it don't oh. hit the same as Paul. Or no homo. <laughs> she can't say no homo now, you know what I'm saying? I was like, no diddy is crazy though. So no diddy, <laughs> I guess no diddy replaces that because you can't say no homo, but I think pause is a safer than just Paul. So you can't you can't you can't genderify. You can't gender pause. You know what I'm saying? They can mean uh, anything. They can mean exactly. Man, so you see any you see any of your people, family members in the freaking doc? I ain't watching it yet. You ain't watching uh, it. Yet? I pl- I plan on not seeing it. Yeah, I'm going to though. I plan on not seeing my uh family members in it. I swear if I I hope not. I'm gonna be depressed, honestly, if I do. Watched it, bro. It is not that bad, bro. Like, I mean, if, okay. it's only it's only bad for you know them people that you know they coming there for one yeah, thing yeah. and yeah. one thing only. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it was real informative. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know it started off as like a big cookout. It started out as like a cookout function, like for college. You know, college students like during college the summer, students. if they yeah. you know if they couldn't travel home, they gave them something to do. Yeah, and the original the. They got the idea from was it was a um it was a phone group back in the day. I think they was called Chic, a chick, yeah. something like that. It was C H I C, but they had a song that came out. I think it was called um Hey Chef Boy Hey, what's up? Boy? What I forgot up, what Ed? the song was called, but it was called it was called Freak Something. So that was like instead of picnic, we was like we would replace it with Freaknik. But it literally just started off as like a big old like you know what I'm saying, like a, a um uh when the family come together like a like a reunion or something or like a yeah a cookout you know everybody cookout. just come out and have a good time it started off as that yeah, yeah. and then you know because it started um i want it started in dc then moved down to atlanta and, yeah and like i didn't like it started like i want i think it started either 70 or 80 ish I can't remember, but it started early, but it didn't like jump off to ninety four, like I mean, ninety, like ninety one, ninety four ish, and then but it, it didn't get wild to the later years because th- it was the same year where they was trying to get the Olympics to come down there, so mm-hmm. they was trying to they was trying to prove that they could control the event, and then they was like block- blocking off all the traffic, and that's what really like um, people didn't want to go no more because they like, dang, we. We came all these miles, and now we can't even like get on the highway for real. It's like it, it was mm-hmm. blocking traffic. Mm-hmm. Then, of course, mm-hmm. you know, with the actions, you know, 
at first it's like, you know, you just parked your car and just you would just go walking around, hop in with other people. But then it got crazy to where I think it was like um I think like four rape cases and this and that and you know, when they yeah. couldn't control it and then now more people because at first it was just a, you know what I'm saying, DC Atlanta well, thing, but yeah, the more it got thing, popular, yeah, everybody yeah, started yeah. coming down here from different places, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. But it wasn't, it, it was it was real informative, i put it that way. Like, it had the, the people who originally made it, they was on there talking about it, and, you know, people over the years, like the little John, Jermaine Dupree, um, Uncle Luke, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to know the the information about it, it's a good look. But if you was like just if you was just trying to go there being freaky, then you just need to get on YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> speaking of things, so did you hear about GTA Six? Talking about they falling behind. Now they talking about it might it probably won't come out to two thousand twenty six, and they trying to get the workers. To get in there so everything can still come out on time. Like, do you still leave? Do you, basically, the workers, they, they, I guess they took a break from it, but they saying they followed for what, the for what, um, development. For what show? No, I'm talking about for the game, GTA 6. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm I just pushed it back to 2026. Like yeah, that doesn't surprise me, though, bro. It's like, is it, do you even want to play it anymore? <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all gonna want to play it when you see it. I think, I think, I think when it's done, it's gonna be a reason why it took so long, bro. Y'all gonna see why. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be phenomenal. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Positivity, brother. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Just based off of what we've seen already from it. Yeah. Like the trailer and stuff. I'm like, bro, if they making the map that big and they making it that interactive, it's gonna be crazy how good it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I I can't remember if we talked about this before, but I remember I think I talked to my pops about it. But you know how they was trying to ban the um, is it the tush push or the touch push? Yeah, the the NFL, yeah. They was trying to ban it, but now they saying they just gonna yeah, leave they, it legal. Like, good way. Allowed, yeah, I saw they, that. They gonna let them keep doing it. So I guess hey, find a way to stop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they was thinking about banning it anyway. There's only one t- team that's really good at it. And now that um, Jason Kelsey's retired, it's going to change how they do it, too. So mm-hmm. I didn't think it, it – you know, the 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 QB sneak has always been there. They just manipulated it to where – but it's been stopped. Once they've shown it can be stopped, I think that's – because Philly got it stopped on the goal line twice in the playoffs. Yeah. So. Man, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to backtrack right quick. So back to unfit. So this next uh, this next fact I'm finna tell you, and I just found out about this too. I know you was wearing his fit when this song came out. Tell me uh, uh, how after 15 years, Black Serpent just went platinum. After, really? It just after just went 15 platinum? years, Swag Serpent just went platinum. Wow. I'm surprised. Now that. it just now became flat. How, bro? I, we've heard swag. What? That's crazy. Years, bro, wow. and it just finally wow. went platinum. Wow, that's wow, that's crazy. Damn, bro. I'm tell- Man, tell telling you, bro. There's something else, bro. Let me tell you. I feel like it, she. I feel like every time she touch, she. So she get the swag surf and they go platinum. That's crazy. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the tell us. <laughs> Why is it that already platinum? That's the crazy thing. Everyone was stealing it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he right about that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey Wayne did kill that junk on no scene. Everybody yeah. was stealing that song. That's true. But even that's been years, and I hear it at every function that I go to. I hear swag surfing. So I'm like, bro, you hear it at the game. Lion Wire. Hey, see. Some of these people ain't going to know, know, know about that line wide days, bro. Yeah, but that's why that, he right, though. That's why a lot of songs are going platinum now and didn't before because <laughs> they were getting pirated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to the pirate day. <laughs> yeah, you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> man. man. But, uh, uh, but, yeah, that's crazy. Well, congrats to them niggas, bro. Yeah, congrats to them, bro. 
I think, yeah, Fly, yeah. Congrats to Fly, bro. Yeah, fly, 15 yeah, years. Yeah. We've been swag for 15 I years. I cannot believe it. That. That's platinum. just not going platinum. That's nuts. I thought it'd been double platinum by now. Yeah. All right, double A, y'all need to um stop playing. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he knows. Yeah, hey, your know, pops is wildin', bro. He knows. <laughs> hey. wildin'. That's what he know what it is. It is, bro. But hey, last but not least, bro, this legendary movie, including my goat, was in it. They having a thirty-year anniversary of Above the Rim. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Above yeah. the Rim it turns thirty years old today. Okay. okay. I didn't know that. Classic it, soundtrack. It Absolutely, the classic soundtrack. You're right about the one of the best hip hop soundtracks for sure. So, yeah, R.P. Birdie. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. I didn't realize it was the anniversary day. Thirty years, bro. Ninety-four. I want to say. I think that was ninety-four. Great. But yeah, movie. that soundtrack was crazy, bro. That Warren G. Regulate. Man, that's that soundtrack is go out a little bit. One of the best ever. Shout out to Death Row. Hey, hey, unless you got any, you know, special topics or, you know, something crazy you didn't see, that's all I got. No, I, I think out of the ones I said, um, I started a local drop. I mean, that's all I, that's all I got, brother. Hey. So you didn't pick your side? So you with Kendrick and them? Yeah, bro, that's that's been like that since 2012, bro. <laughs> since I met the, since I got on stage and did cartoons and cereal with him. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm just being real, bro. <laughs> that's real. Hey, like I said, my middle name Jermaine, bro. So hey, hey cold first, world. Bro, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it because I like I said, all them guys is you know away from Michael. Great, beat it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's getting hot. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, yeah, he in his bag, bro. He, he is in his bag. That's why. I, that's why I think he's gonna respond. No, oh, because I seen the post. This producer said he didn't care. <laughs> right. you, you know, hey, you know we, you know we nuts a lot, bro. All right. Oh yeah. Yeah, to that a was, point. That was like that was a nuts a lot to a point, bro. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know that's true. Man, they ain't dropped they um yeah he got an album on the way too yeah the fall off but my boy ain't fell off yet yeah he not, not retiring bro I had a debate about that this week but I ain't gonna lie too though bro even though despite this friendly competition I'm still mad that him and Kendrick like that song they played when they was out on that bus or whatever I'm still mad yeah that man they had a dude we never gonna get we that. never ne let's go get it that's bro. not happening now I just I hate that. But it's not happening now. I'm really sad. We'll never get a, a Kendrick and J. Cole album now because, you know, Kendrick drew a line. Literally. And you got to say that. But they, but Jeezy, the only person that could pull it off. <laughs> out of yeah. Jeezy was the only yep. person to pull it off. Both of them on the Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's the last time, too, I think. Yeah. Man. They did the black. Friday freestyles where they got on each other. Yeah, the black. Yeah, that too. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the only thing I hate. We, you know, what I know saying? me too, man. Like, like Drake it. in 21 was cool. You know what I'm saying? But come on, bro. A whole Drake and Kendrick, like a whole practice, even if it's just like 10 songs, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. But man, man, maybe, a, maybe once, maybe in the next 10 years when they get oh, older yeah, and they realize, yeah, they sit, yeah, sit down and reflect. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like Jay Z and Nas. They all buddy, yeah. buddy now. They all buddy, buddy now. Maybe we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hey man, man. episode nine, bro. Uh, I'm gonna get into these drops right quick. So yes. you know, first thank off, everybody I'm, for tuning. Yeah, in, thank everybody for tuning in, man. I mean, nine, bro. Every Sunday. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Dollar, they know us. You know what I'm saying? So big facts. They'll realize big facts. how much money they left on the table. Hey, they, they probably will, but I feel like people like them. I feel they don't even care about. Them. I mean, I don't know. not like that. Not like that. Not not over competition. Like, 
I think they're like, you, like they really cool. care about this. Yeah, they like, care about the court. They care about hip hop, so they're not gonna put the competition over the over the bag. I mean, I mean, Drake, they're not gonna put look the bag now. Over. Future and Drake, yeah, we, <clears throat> what a time to be alive too for the bag. <laughs> yeah, now they will do it for the bag, definitely. Future. <laughs> but uh, but nah, Kendrick and J Cole, they 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 purists, so they go they gonna lean on the competitiveness versus the bag. Heck yeah. But hey, I'm gonna get to my local draws, man. Number one, gotta shout out my boy Zane Dreddy. So far, so good. Yes, sir. Shout out to Zane. Out now on SoundCloud, man. Shout out my boy uh PJ Castro. He did a freestyle to whip it. That whip it, I think it was Big X the political beat. I can't remember, mm-hmm. but he did a freestyle to whip it. And the video out on YouTube, my boy Eli can't catch me video out now. My boy LMR Brandon standing now audio the audio out now on YouTube. The journey high low single out now. You know she's been dropping like crazy. I salute her rollout. I don't know if she got a project coming out, but she been she been dropping some singles. Um, my boy CJ from Space East Ridge Noise Complaint video out now. My boy on the Rockstar vibe. Shout out to the whole four thousand four thousand team man. Mm-hmm. My boy Danny. Danny Polo Gundam single out now. What up, Danny? Boy, yeah, what up, Danny? Yes, sir. My boy, uh, Rackway Tay and um, Queen Chloe on red video out now. My boy, Front Pockets Ain't No Telling video out now. My boy, Pharaoh Nightmare Dreams single out on YouTube. My boy, YLN Slaughter, he another one who's been driving consistently. Uh, Stand On Business single out now. Um, my home. Oh boy, uh, BSMG Lil O, that's a fact video out now. My boy Jay Cooley, 39 video out now. My boy A Dilla now, never project out now. Nari Low Fireworks, her single out now. She's another one who's been dropping, who been uh, dropping some singles. Mm-hmm. And then my boy uh, Young Young Huncho, feel me video out okay. now. And that's okay. all I got. Like I always tell y'all, follow me at Go to Three Breezo. Two Three Breezo. Never know who you gonna see on there. Yes, Man, sir. I post yes, so much. Sir. I don't need. I think I'm like at three K posts right now. Yeah. yeah, I told you you the like you the Elliot Chad, you <laughs> Elliot Wilson, bro. Hey man, but hey, but before we get out of here, bro, now that you didn't said that, and salute the Elliot, but it was another thing. I forgot to write it down, but bro, y'all stop tripping about these lists. Y'all stop tripping about Please, these things, bro. Talk to him, I thought bro. it was talk just to gonna him. be a talk few days, him. bro. It's been a whole week, and y'all yeah. still sharing it. Still, and y'all feeling about the best Dude. rapper, best. This best why I, this is why I don't make the list, bro. I did the list one year, bro. I had like ninety nine point nine percent of oh, channel yeah. on that bud, and it was yeah, that one yeah. percent that was tripping, and I was like, see. Yeah, y'all just come to uh four two three Breezo, you know what I'm saying? Come Man. get your come get your music you know, posted, you know what I'm saying? It's too like, many, and I was who was I talking about that with? Somebody asked me. Like, bro. I, like, like, I just think you, people I, oh go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead no, I'm just I'll let you talk. Saying, bro, like I thought it was just gonna be a couple of days. I'm like, it's been a whole week. Like I'm still seeing lists pop up, people sharing it, and oh who who done like bro. I mean, of course we ain't gonna remember everybody. You know, if it was a single, like, you know, if it was like we had to do one through ten, like, we can't put everybody on there, you know what I'm saying? But just because you didn't make the list don't mean you getting slept on, you know what I'm saying? Or people don't know yeah. about you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Use that as motivation, keep going hard, learn the business, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Like, shout out to my boy Suavo. Like, he put out an informative, you know what I'm saying? He put out an informative uh, video, uh, you know, for all the musicians. Because we want to see everybody yeah. win, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's cool. To have competition, but don't make it have come to competition to where like you ready to like crash out or give up or you know what I'm saying? Hate like hatred. We don't need all that, bro. Positive, positive, bro. Friendly competition, yeah. positive vibes, bro. Right. But I just had to say it because I'm, I'm like, dang, you, bro. I'm gonna tell you, you my thing because I was watching everybody, bro, But just because you ain't make the list, don't mean somebody's sleeping on you, bro. Yeah, somebody's like, sharing yeah. your music, bro. Man, listen, bro. You know how many lists I didn't make for podcasts, bro? Yeah. But you know what's you know what's crazy? Like, um, when I got put up in a newspaper, it was people making comments about that. And I'm like, bro, I have missed on so many different things that I felt I put in the work to yeah. get the recognition for. And I just was like, I just kept my head down and kept working. Like, my thing is this too. It's too many 
personal feelings and tie with these lists. They not legit, dog. You putting in your homies, you putting in like you got everybody got their opinions yeah. and everybody got their lists. Yeah. But if not one list has like when they was putting up the rap best ten rappers that come out of Chattanooga, not one list had Isaiah Rashad on it. To you me, know what I'm saying? That means that means it's not legit. It don't matter what you feel about that man. Take your personal come on, feelings bro. out. He like if we talk about Chattanooga artists, who? Who you putting on? Come on, I'm saying like he gotta, like, he gotta make. He might not be your number one. There's other ones that have done great things, but yeah. he gotta be on the list. So if yeah. he's not on the list at, at all, on everybody's list, that just means to me, y'all not legit. It's all about pleasing people. Yeah, your favorite team your homies, this and that. You know what I mean? You and that's favorite team. Cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Support your homies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bump, bump your you people support, music like man. like you be bumping them out of town. People. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. That's how bump, you support your that. People artists, bro. That's how you support that. Not if you're gonna put up a list and think people are gonna be credible. It's gonna be credible. You putting up all your homies, or you know what I'm saying? People know. Not to say no. Not to say everybody hustling, but to make those kind of lists, we not putting. You know what I'm saying? On a list of all time greats of hip hop artists, we not putting um, Chingy on there. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Chingy had a. Chingy had a, a run. Chingy had, Chingy had a nice run. Yeah, had a honorable band, mention. But he's not getting on a top 10 hip-hop list. Yeah. That's the same goes with Chinese. You might rock with this dude. He might have a good catalog. But there's certain things that come with making that list. What's his fan base look like? Is he able to break out a show? Is he able to 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 have a following? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's where the, that's where that that's where you become legit. If you're not doing that, then it's not legit. It's a favoritism thing. If people get in their feelings about it, I'm like, well, you mad because they didn't put you on it. Well, you're not their homie. Then you should just look at it like that. You're not their homie. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if they're not putting you on your list, then that means that they don't know you. You're not part of their circle. And I think there's a lot of that in China. That's the reason why we can't come together and work together well because there's so much of that going on. I talked about that on a podcast before, but. But yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm glad you said something, man. First of all, we need to stop it. Cut the list out. You know what I mean? Like, stop doing it. You know what I mean? And even with the basketball, it, that was happening too. I'm like, yeah, I've seen the different basketball stars. list too. Yeah. In basketball, I, I came up with Chattanooga basketball in the late 2000s. My list is not going to be the same as somebody who watched Chattanooga basketball in the mid 90s. That's just a fact, bro. Yeah. So we doing all that. It's hard to, unless you the clear cut, we had somebody go to the NBA and they Hall of Fame. It's gonna be different because we all watch different areas of basketball. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like, so yeah, literally, bro. But yeah, man, friendly competition, bro. Like, like you said, ain't nothing bro. wrong with that, but bro, yeah, Ed, yeah, I saw yeah! that list too, bro. That's crazy. There's no Shut way up, Chad man, is not man. on that list. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Damn, that's bro. exactly that's what I'm talking about. Like, these lists are not legit. Y'all not putting up real history. Y'all putting up people that you like or just your homies. You know what I'm saying? They say, yeah, circle. And then y'all getting mad about it. Like, bro, real y'all not putting up <laughs> legit lists. Shout out the real It'd be type. different if it was a legit <laughs> athletes that was like, okay, yeah, now we can all agree that this is the list. Oh, it is. Now, What's this up? Are... See, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, you right, bro. Good point. Good point, bro. Yeah, shout out to ass, bro. Go. Shout out to ass. But yeah, bro, I was just like, like I said, bro, ain't nothing wrong with friendly competition, you know what I'm saying? Because my homie done had tagged me in it like, hey, it's good to see some friendly competition. You know, we see Drake and Future, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, you know what I'm saying? But don't get, don't make it too personal, bro. Keep doing yeah. your thing. Keep being great. That's why we appreciate it. I ain't got no list. Look, I ain't got no list, but you know you, you know you done been on 423 Breezo page, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Yeah, bro. That's, That's the thing, bro. You, bro I know from the from everybody y'all listen to to the person who probably you know what I'm saying j- just starting or you know been there, but you know don't know about it, bro. I yeah, I support yeah. everybody, bro. And even if it ain't my type of music, I know somebody listen listen to what I post. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I just sure. want I, I, I want to see everybody. It's a unity. Here, it's a community. A unity and community. You know what I mean? Yeah, competition is good, but you know I think Chad New. That we're not, I don't know, our city's not in a place. We need to be more unified than not until we start doing all these lists and who's the best all the time. Like, we're not there yet. You know what I'm saying? We need yeah. to try and to do community. I, I keep unity. telling people, it's going to take time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take some baby steps. But eventually, yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah. And when it 
do happen, you're going to come back to episode nine and be like, hey, Post 2 3 Freezo yep. told you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. Well, shoot, man. Happy yeah, Sunday yeah. episode. Nine, Happy Sunday bro. episode nine. Shout out to everybody that came and rock with us. Appreciate y'all pulling up for the show. I'll, uh, I'll see you back when I get in town, brother. Safe travels, too, man. Appreciate that, man. I'm about to hop on the road, get some gas, and hop on the road, head back, and we'll get ready for next week. Yes, sir. Hey, we done hit the double. Hey, we hit the double it. Yeah, it's yeah. lit. We got to do something special for that, bro. I'll try to think of it this week. Man. All right, bro. All right, man. Good, man. I'll holler at you, yep. man. Yes, sir. Peace.